Hey guys, today I want to talk about immutable classes. Now this is a question that comes up on a lot of interviews, so you definitely need to pay attention to each part of this video. So let's start off. What is an immutable class? An immutable class is simply a class where the state does not change. So why do we even need immutable classes? Now there are a variety of reasons of why we would use immutable classes, but here I'm just going to list a few of the benefits of immutable classes. One thing, immutable classes are thread safe. So that means if multiple threads are trying to access this object or this class, it will not run in any it will not run into any type of thread issues. Um, another thing is that the state of your project will be consistent. Due to the fact that this class will be immutable, there won't be any type of errors that will arise because it's always gonna remain in one state. Another thing is that it can be cached, basically meaning that um, it can be stored for future use. So this is another question that comes up on a lot of interviews where sometimes hiring managers would ask you how you would go about constructing an immutable class. So how do you create an immutable class? It's very easy. Now here I have the steps for creating an immutable class. The first thing you want to do is mark the class as final. When you mark the class as final that means that that class cannot be inherited from. Another thing you want to do is mark all fields or data members as private final. So when you mark a data member as final, that means th that you're marking the field as unchangeable. Another thing is that you want to make sure that this class has only getter methods. Due to the fact that this is an immutable class and the state is not going to change, we don't want to add any setter methods to open up the possibility of any people trying to change any part of this class. We want to make sure that it's immutable. And the last thing is that we don't want to add any methods into this class that change the state of the object in any methods. All right. So now what I want to do is actually walk you through the entire process of creating an immutable class. And I'm going to do that right now. Here is an empty project. We already have our application object here and now we're gonna go about creating our immutable class so I'm gonna create myself a new class new go to class type in person and we want to make this class immutable now if we look back at the slides these are the steps that we need to take we need to first of all mark the class as final so we're gonna do that right now go here final okay this means that this class cannot be inherited from all right, so we want to go back here, and we want to also um, mark all fields, our data members, as private final. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to add some fields. Final string name. Final string SSN. So I just listed some data members here where the state is not going to change. And also, let's just add ourselves a constructor, person, and then from here, I'm going to add in string name, string SSN, this.name equals name, this.ssn equals SSN. All right. So the next thing we want to do is only use getter methods. So we're going to do that right now. We want to right click, go to source, and then generate getters and setters, and then select getters. Go to OK. All right. So I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, and also this last part, don't don't change the state of the object in any methods so due to the fact that we're not going to be adding any more methods here um, we're just going to have you know our getter methods as well as the data members and we want to just make sure that this class is final and this is pretty much it um, creating an immutable object is fairly simple 
Um, as I said before, to run through this one more time, we want to mark the class as final. We also want to mark each one of the data members as private final. Um, we also want to make sure that we only have getter methods because we don't want this class changing or open up the possibility for anybody changing this class. All right. So go back to our app class and then we create an object person, create an instance of person equals new person. And then as you can see here, we have the ability to add in our information. So the name, we're just going to say John. And SSN, we're going to do something like this. That's a random social security number. And the reason that I chose those two data members in per in person is because these are things about a person that are more than likely not going to be changing. All right, so what we want to do now is just sys out we dot get name sys out p dot get get ssn and you obviously know what this application is going to return just the name as well as the social security number so what we have here is an immutable object of person and as you realize we're not able to call any setter methods here see we can't call any setter methods so that makes this class immutable and that's pretty much it. Uh, just wanted to walk you through the process of creating an immutable class. It's fairly simple. Um, it's definitely something that does come up on interviews as far as interview questions go. And it's just something that you need to have ingrained within your mind when you're asked about immutable classes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.